Okay, so to finish off question 17, uh, this time we were given a chord that went to the circle and uh, I have my diagram done out here. So my chord here is 3x minus 4y minus 5 in red and we're using two theorems here. So one theorem is um, uh, the perpendicular bisector or from the center out bisects the chord, okay? So when you come from the center out to the chord, you bisect the chord. So they told us that the chord is of 10 units. So if we bisect that 10, obviously this here is five. Now, obviously then this here is my radius. So you can see here that I have my right angle triangle, okay? And I'm trying to find K. So I'm already missing this side. So I'm going to need to find this side. So it should be obvious here from looking at the diagram that this is actually a perpendicular distance that we need. So we need a perpendicular distance from two minus six out to that chord. Okay, so we'll set that up then. So my distance, perpendicular distance is equal to three times bracket bracket minus four times bracket bracket minus five all over the square root of three squared plus minus four squared. Okay, and then I'm going to fill in my point for the center of my circle, which is two minus six. So D is equal to six plus 24 minus five over the square root of 25. So D is equal to 25 over five. So D is equal to five. Okay, so now once I have my D to be five, I can now use Pythagoras' theorem. So Pythagoras' theorem tells me that, uh, now be careful, 40 minus k is the hypotenuse. So the square root of 40 minus k squared is equal to five squared plus five squared. So we have 40 minus k equal to 50, minus k equals 10, so k equals minus 10.